So, you want to write a screenplay, but you're not sure where to start. Well, good news for you, the first step is very easy. And that's to watch as many films as possible. Watch the film multiple times, and each time you watch the film, pay attention to different story elements. Like a story character's arc, a montage, or how the story intensifies and unfolds. Step two... Pick up a book on screenwriting. There are three uh, to help you get started, like Sid Field's Screenwriting the Foundations of Screenwriting, Screenwriting for Dummies, and Save the Cat by Blake Snyder. The third step is to read screenplays. You can read screenplays on websites like Studio Binder, The Script Lab, and Script Select. I will include links for all the resources in the description below. Step four Keep a notebook. The notebook is to help you keep track and remember uh, story elements uh, that you want to include uh, future ideas and things that you learn along the way about screenwriting all in one place. Step five, practice, practice, practice. Follow the basics from your readings like show, don't tell. It's easier said than done. Don't use ing or ed. Use s and es because you are writing in present tense. Write what you know. If you're familiar with slashers like Halloween and Friday the 13th, write a slasher. If you're into crime like NCIS or Criminal Minds, then write a crime drama thriller. Or if you're into action like John Wick and Police Story, then write an action-packed story. The point is to write movies that you would want to see. Writing is going to be hard enough as it is when starting a screenplay, so do yourself a favor and write what you like. Great writers aren't great, aren't great first drafters. They're great rewriters. Taiki Watiti. Stick with your story. Your first draft is not going to be brilliant like most final drafts. It's probably going to be crap. It's okay. It's just you. And no one else knows it's bad except you. There's going to be a moment when writing when you get excited about a new idea. And you feel like the current idea is garbage. That's okay. It happens to everyone. The thing to do is write whatever thoughts you have about this new idea down in your notebook. Then continue working on your current story. Writing is not easy, so don't worry about what others are going to think about your story. Again, easier said than done, but the important thing is to serve the story you're telling. Who cares if the story is dark, weird, or is too much of one thing? Just worry about getting the story out whether it be by hand or on the keyboard. Let the story lead you, not restrict you. Do what's right for the story. Use EXT for exterior and use INT for interior. Interior or INT, place, time, uh, whether it be day, night, afternoon, or morning. Action line, what is happening on screen? What is the audience going to see? Character, who's in the scene? Who's saying what? Parenthesis, are they angry, sarcastic, etc. If you say it in the action line above, there's no need to repeat it here in the parentheses. Transition, cut to, dissolve to, fade in, fade out, match cut to. These are to help us get from one place to another. Screenwriting websites to help are Keltex, Studio Binder, Writer Duet, and Arc Studio. Links for the websites will be in the description below. Remember, this will take time and you'll only get better through doing it. This uh, concludes the first video on screenwriting, and I plan on making this informational. Uh, videos brief and covering the different areas of screenwriting. This is just to get you started. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. Who cares? Because it's free.